Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super fun. It is a summer side dish collaboration. I am co-hosting this collaboration with Vanessa over at Vanessa White Random Random Dum Dum Randomness. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in because I know she's going to enjoy that. Uh, but anyways, I'm co-hosting it with her. We have an open collaboration going. So I'll have the playlist and link down below as well as her channel link down below as well. So make sure you go over, click the playlist when you're done with this video. So you can see everybody's video. Everybody's going to be sharing some summer side dishes. COVID's kind of on the downhill now. So partying is going to be going on, family gatherings and all that fun stuff. So we thought we would share some fun side dishes for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. We are getting ready to make these glazed pigs in a blanket. Y'all, I had made these last year for a summer party and they were a hit. So delicious. So we're not actually going to a party. We don't have anything planned. So I'm just gonna make them in this casserole dish and we're gonna eat on them uh, for lunch. So I'm super excited, but I still wanted to share this recipe because like I said, they were a hit when I took them to a summer party last year. They're really easy. Here's a few things that you're gonna need. Some Dijon mustard, some sesame seeds, some poppy seeds, some onion powder, garlic powder, Pam spray to spray your pan. Or I normally, if I'm taking it to a party, I'll do just a foil pan for easy cleanup where I can, they can just throw it away and I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to find my dish. Um, we got some crescent rolls here. I normally like to get the dough sheets, the crescent dough sheets. Um, but I went to Kroger and they don't have the crescent dough sheets. So I just picked up regular crescents, which will be just fine. Got some little smokies and then some butter and some brown sugar. So we're gonna get everything ready to go, get these mixed together. Like I said, these are super simple and delicious. So I'm just gonna take and roll out my crescents. I really, really, really like the crescent dough sheets. It really does make a world of a difference. And it's so much easier cutting out the crescent dough sheets than it is doing these, <clears throat> but we're going to use what we got here. So. Okay, so for these, since I'm doing them with the regular crescents, I'm gonna take and just cut it like into thirds. And that way, so each triangle will get three. Does that make sense? I guess technically it can get more. So just roll them up however you want, and then just we're just gonna fill up this pan. Okay. 
So I've got all of these all ready to go. They're jam packed in here. Um, I've got two left, but I'll just cook them on the side once I'm eat them. Um, but if you use the crescent dough sheet, you get a ton more, um, whatchamacallit, you get more weenies wrapped, if that makes sense. Um, like I had to stretch the dough for this. Um, so if I would, like I said, I would recommend the dough sheet. So we're going to take and put all of this stuff right here in a bowl with the melted butter get our sauce ready to pour over the weenies. The only thing we're missing is Worcestershire sauce. I'm completely out. Okay, so we've got our butter melted. That's just a whole stick of butter. Now we're gonna add in, do a little squirt of the Dijon mustard. Okay, good job. <laughs> I put too much. It's okay. And then, like I said, I normally have Worcestershire in here, but I just completely out and I forgot to pick it up at the store. Now give a little shake of just a little bit. Do a little more. A little more. Okay. I'm gonna mix it. No, put it. I'm mix it You wait until all the stuff's in. Do a little shake of the poppy seeds. Yes. That's fine. Onion. In the bowl, babe, in the bowl. Okay. Now, poppy seed. Is that good? Keep going. Okay. And then some garlic. Lord help. Child. Sorry. Mix it. to pour it over top of those You will definitely have to double or triple this recipe for any summer party, but y'all, these are so good. Crowd pleaser, and it's super easy to put together. And then I also wanted to share a few of our favorite summer side dishes with you guys. I have previously filmed this, and I'll have that video linked down below, but these are some of our favorite quick and easy side dishes. A couple of them are crock pot. These are all just so amazing, easy to throw together. And some of them are different recipes that I had tried for the video, but I'll have all the links that y'all need down below so you can check out any of these recipes that you are interested in. I really hope you enjoyed this summer sides video. It was so fun hosting it with Vanessa. I'll have her channel link down below and then I will also have the playlist link down below so y'all can check out all the lovely ladies that joined in and are sharing amazing summer side dishes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.